welcome back to Flotsa. My name is Usser. We are getting set up so I can go back and rescue that guy. That's all I'm going to try and get accomplished here is... <coughs> oh, Jesus. Is going back and rescuing the guy on the island because I need the extra help. So we're going to try and set it up so we can do that. First, I need fuel and I need water. All right, we're finally gonna do it. I'm gonna rescue this guy. Poor guy, just out on top of this lonely island. Hi, come with me. Now we'll have four people. I also expanded a little bit, gave the guy a bed. I'm gonna need another storage yard is what I what I need to do. I want to keep the storage, the beds all together, so I'll put the storage yard over here. Uh, oh good, he's returning with fish. Excellent. So, what I'm going to need to do now is make a bunch of firewood and water. But I achieved what I wanted to. Um, I need to move to a different island right away because leaking water tower sounds great. Because there's nothing in this area. I can salvage an absolute ton of water. That's fantastic. Like, I figured there would be water there, but, oh, that's gonna be so helpful. So, we'll go fishing. We'll salvage all that water. And I may just do the plastic as well, because I will need to enlarge it. I will need to make a bunch of oil, because I'm going to have to move around a little bit. My god, I've got 13 water. I, it's been an absolute nightmare of a struggle for water. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, water's been absolutely miserable for me to do, because I have to use up all my dry wood to make firewood for fuel to run this, and it's it just barely a gain. How much do we have left? Five left. And then I'll want to move on to different territory soon. Oh no, I haven't even got the plastic yet. Uh, haven't got the plastic. There's still fish. How many are there? Five. So that should be taken care of on this trip. Then I'll need my plastic. Uh, it's just... I don't have that much I can actually do right now. It's more about getting the fish dried than it is anything else. Factory ruins. That's where I want to head to, I think. I'm running into a problem that the world is only so large and I may have to move to a new region just to find some more stuff. Factory Ruins has oil to refuel me and it has scrap, which is good. So while that guy's doing some stuff, let's get another mooring point and another boat for scrap because I could use it. I need to get some rope going. Okay, now I could have sworn <clears throat> on the map there was a plastic area somewhere nearby. There you are. Boink. I've got two boats. I might as well use them. Factory Ruins has been fully salvaged. Excellent. Okay, so I don't have a lot that I have to do right now. Let's go ahead and get somebody to work on doing water. I have some fuel. I really need to get wood next. So once these guys are done with their marker down here, which by the way, marker, Let's get two boats going.
Once we get done with that, we're going to have to find ourselves some, um, some wood. Ooh, new workshop. All right. Let's see what we got here. Probably shouldn't be this excited for a workshop, but I am. Okay, so I can make pipes. I can also make screws. So let's make four screws and four pipes. I don't even know what I can build with these. It should have unlocked some new stuff, right? No, I have to unlock the new stuff through research. Or maybe I just have to have it built. I don't know, I haven't built any of it yet. God, I may need another storage yard. Um, I don't have enough wood. That's what I really need. Um, so we got wood there. That's Lonely Island. Overgrown wooden ships. Let's go ahead and go right there because it looks like we have all kinds of stuff over here. That I have taken care of. However, we can do doink. Yes, one there. We're getting that one, and then we'll put a marker for right there. That'll keep you guys busy for a little while. Oops, I spun it the wrong way. Oh, that requires fuel. I did not know that. Okay, so let's make some fuel. I didn't realize that. So we're going to have to have fuel for that as well. Um, also, is there a fishing area nearby? So I can use some food. It says there's one over there, so let's go look. Uh, hello? There is. Okay, so that... There's only five fish. So that's like respawned. Salvage marker's been fully salvaged. You guys are going fantastic. You're just flying through stuff. Oh, I'm so low on food. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's turn it down to normal speed. There was a way to make a seaweed grower. Grows. So I've got some of that stuff. There we go. I've got some of the seaweed spores. I should be growing the seaweed because that will get me permanent food and then I won't have to scrounge as much. Because I'm running into an issue of food now. So I will be growing seaweed soon, but I need food now. Let's go to the fishing village because we are starving. And we'll just take all of their food. And it looks like there's something like, I have definitely not messed with the viaduct. So there's stuff here. Fishing village. Two people can go salvage it. I feel terrible about that, because rude. Guys, you need to come loot the fishing village. You really do. Oh, they aren't looting it because I need another storage. Oh my god. Even if it's just a small one. Also, what else do we have in this area? So we've got the bookstore, which I've been there. It may still have stuff. Seaweed covered rocks and what is that? Shacktown. That might be my next destination just because there'll be stuff for me to loot there. All right, so I'm in pretty good shape here. What I'm going to do, I think, because I've, I've looted a lot of stuff here. 
Get the intact bookshop, Lonely Island, I've already done. Oh god. Um. Ooh, a seagull nest. Never mind. I was going to move to a new area because it. I don't. I haven't done that yet, but I thought I had already gotten everything and abandoned motor boats. So. I thought I had gotten everything on the map, but it, it only lets you scroll so far. So, Shack Town, Intact Bookshop, Seagull Nest. Lonely Seagulls need friends too. Okay. Oh, that's what the birdhouse is for. I haven't researched the birdhouse though. I was just looking at that. So there, you get a birdhouse. Uh, where is that? Place where your birds can rest up before they collect all resources nearby. So I need to get the birds because they will just automatically do that. Um, they don't have a bed. So I imagine it will be Quite similar to like when these guys don't have a bed where the bird just passes out on the ground. But we saved a seagull. Okay. Abandoned motor parts, leaking water tower. Have I been to that one? Let's go ahead and move the town. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need plastic. I'm out of I'm running out of oil so we're gonna come over here get the uh, some plastic <clears throat> like that makes me wonder have I been to this shack town they, they, they just call it shack town they don't have a bunch of different names is that a lonely island I haven't been to like there's a couple intact bookshops um, place a salvage buoy for your boat enlarge to Scrap and screws. Um, okay, so we've got some things going on here. I'm gonna need to make some seaweed. I need to have somebody on that water still, always, because we're running low on water. We're doing okay for food. We'll salvage this stuff and then move on our way. Ah, uh, man, I rescued that seagull and he's going to leave because I haven't got him a house. So I don't need to go rescue any more seagulls. You, It's not like the person, you have to have a house or they just say, to hell with you. So my little seagull is gonna fly off into the distance. Man. Boy, you really have to be patient with this game. It is a lot of waiting. Um, I'm just trying to get this plastic spot that I had decided I was going to loot cleared out. That's all I'm waiting for is getting the salvage done on that before I can move on. But I've been here probably 10, 15 minutes. The good news is, is as long as I have fuel, I have this on an auto queue, so I will just constantly be making water forever, and it's keeping up. Um, also, the seaweed farm is com keeping up, ah, oh, good, with my um, need for food, so I don't have to worry there. So what I do need to do now is just, um, I need to move on to a different area, which is what I'm gonna do, because I've got people who aren't doing anything. So. We're going to move up here, because I have a feeling I haven't seen this bookshop yet, and look at all the goodies. Just look at all of that. There's fish, there's wood, there's plastic, there's, there's so much up here that I have a feeling this is going to be a good location to loot. Okay, so first and foremost, intact bookshop. Yes, I can get the birdhouse. Like, this should be enough to get me the birdhouse. 
Um, oh, and this has got food as well. Awesome, and a couple books. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to build some more storage. Where did I just get warped to? Okay, so let's do that while I'm, I'm doing other things. Let's build a large storage right there. So I'm gonna need it. Um, also, now that I've done that, I'm going to need uh, a bunch of oil. Because just coming here take half almost of my fuel. But this is going really well. It's surprising to me just how much more difficult this is than Wrath when it comes to survival. Um, I, I'm getting to the spot now where as long as I have fuel, I can I can survive without too much difficulty. But early going, man, it is a struggle. It is a big time struggle. What, what do you mean? Oh, that must be that one, right? Yeah, they, they said it's already been completely salvaged. And I went, what? How is that possible? Well, because that didn't have very much there. Okay, so. Go fishing. And we'll see what I've got. I may need to make more oil than that. I'm not sure, but... It's going well! It's finally going well! It is a lot of patience and waiting. Oh my god, you are just... I, I've got it at triple speed, and it's still just me sitting here. Like, this will probably take me half an hour to an hour to salvage everything I want to out of this specific spot. It takes a lot of time, even at triple speed, but... Things are going extremely well. I am no longer struggling to survive. Okay, so the big question here is, what do I want to do? Like, the birdhouse would be awesome. The house would be awesome, because you can have two people go there, and they rest faster than in the, just a bed. So it's it really cuts down just how much you, uh, you need when it comes to that. But I think I want the birdhouse. I want to be able to have seagulls because apparently they just go out and they pick up random stuff like this this plastic they'll just go out there and do it as long as you're in the area so that would be awesome i'd have to find some seagulls because i kind of you know let that one get out of here but okay so we got two books i can research a house which i think i want to do I think. I mean, the plastic recycler would be awesome. You could get plastic nets. And you use the plastic nets for a um, fishing hut, which takes seaweed and turns it into fish. And then once you had that unlocked, you could take the fish and turn it into sushi or cooked fish or fish kebabs. But I don't need that yet as much as something like a house. Because that will house, take care of two people, and it'll be quicker than a bed. So I'll be able to just put a house down and not worry about them using beds as much. <laughs> Kinda looks like a Fallout house, but um, yeah, it's the type of houses you would build in Fallout 4, but I'm just glad that we've got them available for people, you know? Everything's going pretty well. Let's go rescue Rufus. I may need to get, um, I may need to get another water distiller going though, which is fine, I could do that. I'd love to get a solar still. But, like right now, it is what it is. I think I'm going to have the fuel auto queued Because we're going to need fuel, just like we need water constantly. So, we did that, and that didn't take much. Now, I can't go too far. But, let's move it over there. I've got people working on on getting fuel. No, no, no. 
Stop freaking out. And there will be fish, there will be plastic, there will be all kinds of stuff. We've got another shack town. And then we'll get that seagull as well as soon as we absolutely can because yeah, the seagull's nest is out here. I don't know what that is. Freshwater oasis. Awesome. We're going to have to go there, too. And we'll get that stuff taken care of, like, as soon as possible. And I need to research something. I don't, I don't know what it'll be. In fact, it doesn't even matter. But let's turn it off super speed here. Large storage yard. Um, I may want to do that. No, we're gonna save it for the solar still. Because the only thing it takes is pipes, and I can make that. And then I could deconstruct like that one, put in the solar still, and we'll be good to go. So, we're gonna have to wait for it. That's okay. Hey, bird brain? Like, he needs food to function? My god! Now, you've got... Oh god, he's sleeping now? He hasn't done anything! So it says he's salvaging, but I don't see him actually doing anything. He's probably at food again, just can't function. So we're gonna move there. We'll go to this lonely island. Oh, and that looks like I'd find some seaweed there. See, we covered rocks. I bet you that green flag on it means I've taken care of it. Like it's been fully, fully looted or whatever. Oh, see, this one has been taken care of. I have done this one. That's bad. I was counting on that to be, okay, yes, the green flag means it's been fully taken care of. Oh god, stop. Just stop. So, what I'm gonna do is come to Lonely Island, because apparently there's someone there. I'll have to kind of restock when I get there on um, fuel, and we'll look around and see if there's some other places that I haven't done recently because I'm going to need food but we're doing okay we're getting low on food which not a big deal we'll, we'll find a way to make do with that because there are fishing spots that I can go hit up um, Jesus that has been all day it's just freezing and flipping out but we'll get ourselves some fuel. I may have to go to a new area, which I want to do just to see what it's like. But I'm going to try and get that bookshop so I can get my more efficient water producer. Unlock. Okay. Okay, so solar still is finished. So what we're going to do is deconstruct this. We'll reclaim everything, and then... I need one pipe, so make me one pipe. I need some plastic. And just that one pipe, because I'd already made some earlier. And then we will be in pretty good spot. We just need that food to come in, because man, oh man. Hey, solar still. So it takes... It gets one water, but it takes 450 seconds, which is how long? What, basically seven minutes? Seven and a half minutes, probably, to get one water. Now, this one, it takes 60 seconds to get a water. But I think once I get to a certain point, it won't be a big deal. I am completely out of food. Boom. Okay, so we've got two solar stills. I might need an actual another one. In fact, let's let's think about that. I will need another one just because I'm not able to keep up with uh, what I need right now.
with this running non-stop plus two solar stills i'm not quite able to oh boy i think i've fished everything out it does not look like i'll be able to keep up with water where i'm currently at i'll either need another water still which i can make that's not a problem or i'll need another one that runs on fuel and i don't really want the one that runs on fuel speaking of fuel i am out so that'll give somebody something to do too i definitely want the still because i want them to be able to do this without being um having someone there the whole time like i have other things for them to do that Okay, so the bookshop has been taken care of. Now, got that. Probably want to do that next, just so I can get the fishing hut. It was going good, and I think I got a little overconfident about how I was in such a good spot and everything was working just fine, because once that seaweed grower, once I ran out of spores, that was it. We can no longer keep up on food. I mean, I did get a few extra people that did not help, but yeah, kind of went crazy here. Oh, I forgot about my plastic recycler. Got a new workshop to build. Totally spaced that. Also, I think what I want to do is deconstruct two of these beds and put another house. So deconstruct that one and that one and then once they're gone we'll put a house right there Boink. now I'll do the same thing with these two beds I should have done that a long time ago however we can take plastic and we can make plastic nets surprisingly good to catch fish which this must be there if so much of it in the ocean okay so we're gonna make a bunch of them I don't think we're done. Oh, no, we're not done with that at all. Okay, good. So let's get some more oil. Fishing marker has been fully salvaged. I think that might be it for the fish, which means I'm gonna need to be on my way soon, but I really, really do need the plastic. So let's turn you off, remove. And you will do two and hit it hard and fast. I may have to save it and just quit right there and we'll move to a new region next time because if I can't open the map, yeah, it got all. Now we're gonna move to a new region. We will. I just need them to get some plastic. Ah, fishing, fishing marker's been fully salvaged. Okay, so there was, <laughs> I ran out of storage space on this little laptop. So um, my recording just stopped. I was like, ah, oh no, now what? But I still cannot see anything on this. Uh-oh. I think the game just trying to crash right now. Yep, yep, hold on, I'll get back into it. That's actually kind of a good thing because I couldn't go into my map, I couldn't see anything. So what I'll do is I'll load the game back up and then we would be able to move to a different area. Well, aside from this food cell, uh, situation, we're in pretty good shape. We just need some more food. Um, what I'm gonna do now is try moving to this new region, because I don't... Yes, we'll use 75% of your fuel and you won't be able to return. That's fine, because I've done just about all I can do in that area. I had a lot of plastic that I stored up, so I'll be able to uh, refuel my ship. I just wanna see what happens when we come to this new area. Ooh. Okay, so. We got Shack Town, Fishing Village. That's where we're going first. So we'll come up here to the Fishing Village. I could get a seagull, but I'm, I'm kind of annoyed with the seagulls. 
We're going to loot the fishing village as well as get someone started on this area of fish. So the fishing village should be plenty to salvage on it. We're going to hit it up with two people. We have 20 fish, a couple books, and some other stuff. So that's good. Now I have an entirely new area. It basically like refreshes the map so I can I can start over, basically. Is what it does. I've got bookstores. This is actually a really good spot. Seaweed that I can get. That's gonna have water. It's actually a really good spot right now. So I kind of looted that other area pretty well up, so yeah. Oh good, the bird's finally going to leave. I'm so sick of his noise. He's just non-stop. So I think actually I probably waited a little bit too long to move to a new area, but we're going to have plenty of food after we loot this fishing village. Yeah, huge amounts of food. Which is good. I need it. I mean, I'm doing well. I've got this. It, it takes a while for me to actually, um, actually build up this much stuff, but I'm doing really well with all that I've got. Um, the, the water will be going down at such a slow rate because of these solar stills and this guy working that by the time I need some, I'll be able to go over to that uh, wa old water tower and just top right off and it'll be going well there. I'll get some seaweed, because there was some seaweed rocks. That'll get my seaweed farm back up and running, or I may turn the seaweed farm off, because I'm gonna hit those bookstores first, and I may just make a fish uh, place. Place that produces fish. I can't remember what they call it, fish hut or something like that. But anyway, once I get this looted up, I think that's where we'll save it and we'll call it good, because man, that went really well. Yeah, 19 food now, now that I looted that fishing village. All their hard work, all their effort, or not, because I, in my abomination of a city, just came by and decided, you know what? It's mine. You don't get to have it. This is my stuff now. Fishing village has been salvaged. Sweet! So we did it! That's awesome! I'm gonna let those guys, um... Salvage up some... Uh, uh, those fishing spots, and then we'll move on! But that that's awesome! We'll do that next time, because I've been recording for a while. It takes forever recording, because you're sitting forever. Like, I'm, I'm sure it's kind of boring in a lot of ways, and it, it's just the way the game is made. It's made for you to be a city builder. It takes time, and a lot of energy and effort to survive and, and build your city up and keep everything functioning so you can actually build the things you need to build but um, that's that's kind of the way the game's designed to be it, you're going to be waiting a, a while but anyway leave a like comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you can see whenever i upload new videos stop by facebook stop by twitter get all the latest news there thank you guys so much for joining me catch you on the next one Bye!